Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Berseria, last time. We got finished in Halloween and met Teresa Lenars. This time, we enter... Thank goodness I was here. But any further attacks and... An exorcist. Was that Dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Are you crying? It's just... everything that's going on. Demons run rampant in the Outlands, and yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once, and the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. It's a heartless decision, I know, but it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a Praetor patrolling for the Abbey. What is your business here? We heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helavis. The shipping guild incident, yes. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. But you have a lance. Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah, she's gone. Oh, good. I didn't want us to get eaten. Eaten? <laughs> I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine, you can tell me. I'll keep it a secret, I promise. Now with that look. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, alright? Got it. That's a promise. A cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? <laughs> hmm. This is actually rather good. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Huh? Yay. We what we need to. Let's look for that cave. Abbey Inspector on patrol. That woman said she was patrolling for the Abbey. What's that mean exactly? They're handpicked agents who traveled the kingdom gauging the Abbey's success in the demon fight. They also make sure the other exorcists are conducting themselves properly. I suppose you could liken them to military police. Since the Abbey imposes so many rules on the populace, they want to show they're above board. But if they need to police themselves, isn't that as good as announcing corruption in the ranks? Well, nah, some would say it's more honest this way. Idealism alone won't change the world. Maybe that's why our determined little exorcist was crying. I bet you're right. That does fit the picture. Although it's best not to take a woman's tears at face value. Huh? Just some common wisdom. Mm. And another yacht. Yeah. Look up this treasure chest first. Uh, that's one fine yak you've got there. <gasps> what an adorable face! You might not want to lean in too close. Hmm? Why? <coughs> that is nasty. That's why. Yaks ruminate the food they eat while they digest it. Their burps are one of the foulest things you'll ever smell. Same as cows and goats. Everyone who's raised livestock knows that. <coughs> I think that point's been driven home. That's a smell I never want to ruminate on myself. Good job, Rokuro. Good job. 
Rook Road, not the brightest of the bunch. And another herb. And then we got ourselves another cat's chest, which gives us these square glasses. Gold chest with the twin charm. And then, yeah, there's a bunch of herb spots in the area. Past you. And now we get to look at these farmers. This village seems much more run down than hell of these was. This is where the Abbey sends its malcontents. Don't conform or accept the Abbey's rules or commit a crime, and you'll end up here with the rest of the refuse. And I take it the Abbey doesn't care what happens to this place. So, disrupt their precious order, and you get banished? Exactly. I'm sure they'd say it's all part of their notion of reason. Oh well, yeah. That exorcist Eleanor said something like that. After the advent, the exorcist showed up to quell the tide of demons and to restore the human world. But demon blight keeps spreading, and the only places they can keep safe are a few of the bigger cities. There aren't enough exorcists to protect everyone. When the going's tough, cut off any excess baggage. It's the rational thing to do. I suppose so, but it's too heartless. And that right there, that's the Abbey for you. Humans aren't livestock, and we're not machines either. That's why some of us here, myself included, chose to live here of our own accord. Hmm. Guess there are all types of humans out there. The important takeaway here is that exorcists are neither invincible nor infallible. That makes a lot of sense. Though there are a lot of different things too. Uh, that's not something I'm going to go into detail about. So, we know that Dal's not here. Uh, we can go to the shop if we want. I'll go to the shop here in a bit. Let's go to the tavern first, because there's some stuff here. Uh, and stay warm. So, the icon above an innkeeper's head means that there's a scene to be had here. Uh, we'll spend the hundred gold to stay. That was a good session, if I do say so myself. Tomorrow's drill will be even faster. I thought he was being a crazy demon again, but come to think of it, this is just him being him. And now we've got the jackless outfit for Rokuro. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll show you Rokuro's jacket list. Just a little bit less. It's not exactly jacketless as it's just stripped down and hanging. But it's understandable at the very least. I'll keep the regular outfit on him though. And you can always have the hat style. Grab the shiny here and grab the capsule. Trust me, we're gonna need a lot of capsules. Um, yeah, we'll just do this. Grab the capsule. All right, so you're just selling things. So it looks like we have a number of things here. Uh, she's about to be done with her mastery, but I suppose we can do that. If anything, we can just put him on someone else that needs him. Amber boots. Don't have that. We'll buy that too. Distance rings full. Mm. Reach level two and gain Wanderer's Ventite. Which will give us, I believe, oh, we'll look at it here in a bit. I kind of skipped it, sorry. We can get this. I'm actually going to buy this one. And 
and we'll buy ourselves a little bit of life bottles and wait my granddaughter said she spoke with you hey hold up it's not like we threatened her or anything don't worry I know I gather you intend to continue your travels yes then take this it's nothing fancy but hopefully it helps cooking so okay um I guess I have to wait button this just goes over auto cook, cook and eat, and skills. Auto cook is probably your best friend for this. Uh, so we can choose cook and eat. And. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Then there's the auto cook option. Eat food after bell, yes. And then works the same way. And we'll just auto cook after every oh, battle. Now that hit the spot. Hey Velvet, can I ask you a question? You can do whatever you want, but just because you ask doesn't mean you're getting an answer. So about that whole apple thing. You can't taste anything? Not entirely. I can taste blood. Nothing else? Nothing. And I don't think I can feel full either. You don't think? You talk like you've never had a good meal before. I haven't. Not normal food at least. Not since I became a demon. So, what have you been eating? Please. You were in that prison with me. I'm sorry. Forget it. This is just what I am now. As long as I have a recipe, I can still cook. And now I don't even have to worry about how it tastes. I suppose. Food keeps my strength up. That's all I care about. Swords and Spirits. Oh yeah, the guy at that weapon shop gave me some booze for the trip. I nearly forgot about it. You really think it's a good idea to drink when we've got demons to fight? A little drink will warm me up. I thought you couldn't feel the cold. That's true, I suppose. Well, I'm not drinking it anyway. I'm using it for something. Like what? Got some wounds to clean? That's one use for it, sure. But I've got something more practical in mind. By pouring it on the pegs that hold the blade and hilt together, the wood will swell and hold everything firmly in place in battle. You've got such a one-track mind, I swear. That's just the kind of demon I am. But, useful. Can't complain with it. So the next battle will have that advantage going for us. Okay, it doesn't show it yet. And since we can't do it. But eventually we'll be able to break this rock. And we'll have an easy access path back to Helibes. And this is a safe spot. No demons show up here whatsoever. That's being signified by... This. And what are we at? We're at 13 minutes. Um, with us getting through Beardly and knowing how long this is going to take, I'm going to cut the video short here, and next time we will enter the cavern. See you guys next time.